welcome back i am shashwat singh and in this video i am going to talk about switching regulators in this lecture we will study what is a switching regulator why we go for them and its different types also we will look at the brief working of buck switching regulators so let's start and see what are switching regulators switching regulator is basically a circuit that uses a combination of power switch inductor and a diode to regulate dc voltage levels or to convert one dc voltage to another converting dc voltage means the voltages can either be increased or decreased depending upon the requirement now you may be wondering to decrease dc voltage one can easily put a resistor in series and do the same then why should we go for switching regulators let's find out there are four major reasons why switching regulator prevails firstly it has much better efficiency than conventional regulators smaller components and less thermal management is required voltages can be both up converted as well as down converted and use of inductor provides isolation between input and output you will learn more about this in the following slides let's now look at the different types of switching regulators first buck regulators they are used to down convert the dc voltages second boost regulators convert the input voltage to a higher value the third one is inverting regulator and as the name suggests they are used to invert the input voltage to negative outputs the fourth one is flyback it is a buck or boost type switching regulator but uses a transformer instead of inductor providing a better isolation between input and output and thus is used for higher voltage applications one of its most common application or example is a switch mode power supply in this tutorial we will only focus on buck type regulators let's now look at the working theory of buck regulators the basic operation includes current in the inductor controlled by two switches which usually is a transistor and a diode also all the components are assumed to be ideal which means the switch and the diode have zero dropout voltage and also the inductor is assumed to have zero series resistance let's look at the circuit diagram and understand the proper working this is the circuit diagram of a buck regulator as you can see it mainly has an inductor a transistor switch and a diode so let's understand its working consider the switch to be closed at first the current will flow through the inductor and the load following the path as shown in red in the first diagram as inductor has a tendency to resist a change in current it will cause a generation of an opposing voltage this will decrease the net voltage across the load during this time the inductor stores the energy in the form of a magnetic field the diode is reverse biased in this state now when the switch is made open the current has to flow due to the natural tendency of inductor to resist the current change and hence it acts as a source the diode is forward biased and the current will flow through the path shown in red in the second diagram the graph shows the output current this ensures that the output voltage and current are maintained a smoothing capacitor is also placed at the output to ensure that the output voltage voltage does not vary significantly this is how a buck regulator works let us now look at the advantages of buck switching regulators it provides a very high efficiency as compared to conventional regulators as it does not dissipate excess voltage as heat and uses a switching action to control the output voltage secondly smaller components can be used as the power dissipation is very less and no other thermal management techniques are required to control the dissipated heat and finally inductors in the circuit helps in isolating the input and output circuits preventing the sensitive devices from getting damaged so this is it from my side i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i will be making more videos on basics of stuffs in future so please like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel and write any queries you have in the comment section below thank you